Ada Lovelace Architecture definitely made the headline of being one of the strongest and the RTX 4090 is its prime example. Even though it's by far the most powerful, it does have a few cons that most users aren't happy about. Putting this aside, what will be the future of the upcoming Nvidia graphics cards? For example, the RTX 5000 series GPU and how we want it to function. In today's video, we will be sharing our thoughts and expectations on next-gen Nvidia graphics cards that are likely to come out in two years. It's clear that there aren't any other gaming GPUs that can compete against the RTX 4090 in terms of performance. But does the higher performance always value the most? This is where Nvidia's new GPU becomes a questionable purchase. It delivers gaming performance unlike no other card, and it also costs quite a lot compared to any other high-end GPU such as AMD's latest flagship model, RX 3900 XTX. Apart from that, there are a few other things that fans aren't exactly happy about, such as its surprisingly bulky shape and its four 8-pin connectors, which received so many complaints from users due to burning. Even though we don't exactly know what would be the name of their upcoming GPU lineup, judging from the past, we can clearly assume it will be something like RTX 5090 or similar to this. So, what would make the RTX 5090 a great GPU? Well, certainly a proper shape which is not too big would be really appreciated because if you look at the RTX 4090 variant size, it's absurd. And the aftermarket variants look even bulkier. And since Nvidia does not care about affordability, they should really consider putting their upcoming GPU into a decent price range. Now, some people might say it's a really powerful graphics card which makes the price a fair point but it's powerful in a sense which is completely overkill. And even though they made the most powerful GPU, most fans aren't really happy at all. Because people don't need this kind of powerful GPU with super expensive prices. They want something reliable which will have decent upgrades, will show the top of the line performance and comes out in a perfect price range. In this case, if you look at AMD, the new GPU lineup is looking pretty good even though their higher tier model is not even equivalent to Nvidia's RTX 4090 model. And lastly, the 8-pin connector has received a lot of backlashes and putting them into the latest RTX 4090 model was a really bad idea. Because according to some users, these cables burned out due to excessive power pulling while gaming so yes. They should make a GPU that won't need any adapters such as this in order to connect to the power supply. Moving on, we have to admit that DLSS3 technology is by far the most impressive innovation we have seen in a graphics card. It includes DLSS Super Resolution, DLSS Frame Generation and Nvidia Reflex which are exclusively available only for the RTX 40 series GPU. And as a result, the DLSS 3 technology can boost performance up to 4 times while ensuring great image quality simultaneously. So, what would the future of this DLSS technology look like? Well, that's something no one can predict correctly at this point. This could be an update like DLSS 3.2 or it can be a whole new technology called DLSS 4.0 just like the new GPU lineup. But. Since the DLSS technology has already reached its finest level, we can just wonder how the upcoming DLSS technology will affect our gameplay experience. As we can see, fans made it pretty clear that apart from the performance, affordability matters a lot. Since not everyone is lucky enough to get their hands on the Founders Edition, most people will seek the aftermarket variants and these are really costly as well. So when the time comes for the new one, we hope that it will be able to meet fans' expectations seamlessly. Till then, all we can do is wait. So that was all about our opinion on the upcoming RTX 5090 graphics card. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.